Today I'm going to show you how to make these most simple spirograph designs using a Lego machine I made out of six pieces. Six Lego pieces. It takes one Lego battery pack, one simple motor, a one inch axle, and a three inch axle. I also have two pieces that can be put onto axles. One of them is a two by axle piece, and the other one is a one by axle piece. First, you put the end of the motor onto the battery pack. I'm using this Lego motor. Lego makes lots of different motors, and you can connect different ones. The main idea is to make the paper spin. You can use the Lego motors, and you can use a drill. I'm using the Lego motor because it's easier than the drill. The drill, you'll need another attachment, and it goes way faster, so it's harder to use. Now you're going to put in the three-inch axle. You can put a longer one or a shorter one. I just find this length easier for me to use for the Lego machine. And then I'm going to attach on this little one by axle piece as a handle so it's easier to turn. And then instead of putting on extra bricks, I'm just going to put the motor on the farthest end of the battery pack so it makes it as simple as possible. And I'm using this basic battery pack because it's cleaner and it's chargeable, which makes it easier for me. There are lots of different battery packs, but I'm using this one. For the motor, I'm gonna put in the smallest one inch axle because it makes it stronger and more stable for the paper. And then finally, I'm gonna put on this two by axle piece, but you can use any axle piece To attach the paper, you're going to need some tape. There are other ways, but the tape is the most simplest way for me. You can attach the tape on any way you like, as long as it sticks to the paper and the axle. I'm going to be using cardboard and paper, but for the paper it's not that stable, so I'm going to need to stick it on to the cardboard. I'm making these pieces a little smaller than the cardboard so they stay on better and so that they're not sticking out. and so I can make more of them. Now I'm just gonna attach the rubber bands on the sides. Fly this to the end as you can put them. So you can make your design as big as possible. Now you're gonna try to stick the cardboard on the middle of the axle. And then you just turn it on. And you can turn the axle to turn it on. You can use any markers on it. I'm gonna be using the thin Crayola markers and the thick ones. I'm not pressing that hard because that will make it a bit unstable for this design. I only need it lightly. I 
I'm also going to be using this simple water pen to blend the colors. A little bit. I'm also going to be using some Arteza water brushes. Oops. <laughs> Since they're brushes, they make the they cover the paper more in the design. The Crayola ones are very thin so they make lines in the designs to make it look sharper and I'm using the pen so I can fill the paper and it'll blend more nicely. I'm putting on the highest speed right now because it makes it go faster but I've also been doing on very slow speeds to make like half designs and to make it a bit more unique. I'm moving the brush like this and moving it farther and farther out because since it's spinning so fast and when I move it out, I'm making more and more rings. And I'm having to lift at the end because remember I put rubber bands on the side so I don't want to ruin the brush. I think I've gotten enough colors now. I'm just gonna blend it one more time with the water pen and then we're going to see how it turns out. Now we're going to stop. So it looks like I used the water pen too much at the in the middle. So I added too much water in the middle and so the design got all soggy and wet. So now we're going to try again and hopefully it won't get too wet. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm going to try with Sharpies. This time I'm going to use highlighter for a different design. I might have just put too much water on that design for too long. And this time I'm going to try using different markers. I'm going to use the tip of this highlighter so I have some nice thin lines. It can also get all wet in the middle if you put too much ink there. That might have also been the cause of the problem of the last design. Now we're going to see how this looks. This one is way nicer. This is my design. Four colors, you can do three. They don't even have to match. You can have a design with just purple, pink, blue, or gray. Now I'm going to do a rainbow design. For this one, I'm not going to do huge circles of every color. I'm going to do little circles, gradually going color after color. I'm 
And for the yellow one, I'm gonna go farther, because usually, since yellow is a bright color, you end up losing a lot if it when you join the next color. I have to check it now. That can happen if you get too close to the cardboard. The motor will keep on spinning. And if it keeps on spinning and you're blocking it, the whole thing will move on you. And the paper can slip because it's not complete. <laughs> <laughs> that happened because I went too close to the rubber band. So this is the finished design. This. The thing is, my rubber band also went flying. That happened because I was just using rubber bands because it's easier. You can use clips and other stuff. It might hold better. They're just a bit more complicated. This is a way just to do it nice, quick, and easy. So you can have some fun. I might do another video where it's held on a bit better. I think I'm going to try purple and pink again. Now I'm going to do the speeds a little lower. At about 4 instead of the highest setting. When the speed goes slower, you can make it so that they're not full circle. And you can make the design a bit different. It's also easier to see where you're putting your marker. If you put it on the fastest siding, it's faster, but it's a bit harder to see where the, your stuff is. And when the speed is a bit slower, if you end up rubbing against the rubber band, it's not bad. Right now I'm rubbing against the rubber band and it's not flying off because it's not as strong. It's not moving as strong. Now I'm gonna try the water one again, except this time I'm not gonna put it in the middle as much. Sometimes it doesn't work that well, other times you can really see it blending. Now we're going to see how it looks. This one has a bit more space. It's a little wrinkled, but it's not completely soggy wet. There are hundreds of ways to make your designs. You can make them a bit more unique and put any colors you want in there. This is one of the most easiest way to make a simple spirograph design. I've even put some of them on pencils. Some of them didn't turn out that good. Other ones look fuzzy. These are other ones I made. They're nice. This one is one of my favorites. It only, it's only three colors. And I didn't make them full circle, so it really looks unique. This one is full highlighter. 
and some of these are sharp and some of these look fuzzy the fuzzy ones I used when I was using the paintbrush markers the thin ones are when I was using the thin Crayola markers here's another rainbow one and I have some more You can make these different sizes. This one is cardboard, so it was more stable. You can use these with for whatever you want. You can put them on, you can make them stickers. I'll be doing other crafts and making new designs. Be sure to subscribe and add a positive comment. See you next time. The end.